Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reacting to a channel that I've never watched before, or that I've never reacted to at least. It's Thriller Teller, so I've been 94,000 subscribers. They don't have that many videos. 21. <clears throat> and I have noticed their channel around, I just didn't really like react to them at all. Um, but they do seem to have pretty good videos, like they're on, and, and they're actually pretty long too. I think I've only watched one of them, possibly, I'm not too sure. But I'm going to start with the one that caught my eye. So, nine hours ago, they uploaded cr cr creepy shower horror stories animated. But right now, I'm going to react to the psychopath I met on Tinder. It still haunts me. That one's six minutes. That one seems pretty damn interesting. And I will try to get to tell them all. There was like 21, so you're going to have to give me a bit to get to catch up on all of them. But um, hopefully, I'll be able to listen to them all. And yeah, let's get into it. I met a guy on Tinder, and we really started to hit it off. We'd been chatting for a few weeks and even discovered we had a few mutual friends. I was pretty intoxicated one night, was feeling social, and decided to drive to his place to meet him for the first time. Okay. Once I got there, we talked outside for a while and ended up vibing even better in person. I opened up to him about my health problems, and he opened up to me about his older sister, who had just passed away from a similar condition to mine. Oh, sad. I was curious about his sister, but I definitely didn't want him to be uncomfortable, so I didn't want to ask too much about her. We walked into his house, and it smelled like a thousand dead rats were rotting under the floorboard. I was still pretty drunk, so I tried to forgive it because, hey, sometimes animals die under a house or in the walls, and there's nothing you can really do about it. I start to look around and the whole house looks like a cluttered storage unit. He takes me to his room, which is seemingly normal, but I was so drunk that as soon as I hit the bed, I fell asleep. I woke up around 10 a.m. feeling very sober and started to look around the room. I noticed that only girls' clothes were hung in his closet. I started to assume I've possibly been cheated with then I see a giant black binder on his nightstand. When he woke up, I decided to jokingly ask him, what's in that giant binder? Turns out, it was every single episode of Golden Girls printed out. He said he read it at work, and it's the only show he'll ever watch. It was his sister's favorite show, and they both used to watch it together. Mm. I asked him what he did for work. Something I definitely should have known by this point. And he dodged the question. I sat up and looked at the pillow I'd been cozily sleeping on. It had no pillowcase and was covered what looked to be old blood. It looked like that the blood had been coughed onto it. I started putting the unpleasant pieces together and asked as sensitively as I could. Hey, was this your sister's room? I noticed the clothes in the closet. Yeah, and this is her bed. I haven't changed or washed anything. It just makes me feel better to be in her bed. This is actually where I held her when she died. And you remind me so much of her. Did you kill her? I really, really like you. At that point, I felt really sorry for him and I had no idea that he was so close to his sister it seemed that he was suffering a lot and clearly needed help not sad he then slowly started coming close to me kiss and casually tried to hook up with me I was feeling very uncomfortable at that point so I pushed him away doing so my phone fell on the floor I bent down to grab my phone. And? Oh my god. Under the bed was the rotten corpse of his dead sister staring right at me. Oh my god. I wanted to scream really loud. Jesus but I Christ. kept quiet. 
I have no idea how I controlled my fear and pretended that everything was normal. I reached for my bag to quickly use my inhaler. He kept staring at me. There was a weird smile on his face and he told me that his sister used to have one of those. My mind was racing to think get of the hell out of there now. Of there. I asked him if he could get a glass of water for me. He said all right and went to the kitchen to grab a glass of water for me. As soon as he went to the kitchen, I grabbed my bag and got out of there. Call the police. Call the police too though. As I was driving off, I could hear him screaming, standing at the door, that why was I leaving? I oh, was just oh. glad that I escaped. I immediately called the police and told everything. A few days after, I found out that he was arrested for keeping the corpse of his sister and was later moved to the mental hospital. To this day, his sister's dead face gives me sleepless nights. That shit's scary. <clears throat> Cause like you don't expect that shit, you don't know. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't like that, okay. I will say that was a really good story, so what I'm thinking is that he didn't kill her, but he's just so sad about the death that he can't let go of it, and then he wants, you know, her with him, in a way. Um, because at first I'm like, he killed her, because like, he, but I mean, if it was a, wait, so did he kill her? I, I have a feeling like he killed her, but then he said he, he was arrested for keeping the corpse, but it, it's not like he... I don't know, I don't think actually, I don't like this light in the, in, in the way, sorry, there we go. But yeah, I don't know if that was just because, like, did he kill her, or did he, like, damn. I gotta react to this per person more often, damn, that, that was a good story. A really good for first impression for me. There's another 20 videos that I can check out, which I'm actually, I'm really happy about. So at least, so now at least I can't say... At least now I can't say, um, no, I don't know what to do a video on because boom, yes, I do. So, oh yeah, once again, I forgot to tell you guys that Sammy Heath also recommended that I do this video. I'll put it right here somewhere. But did it, yeah. Put it somewhere right there. But yeah, I hope you guys love this video. I will definitely react to Thriller Teller more because that, that, that was a really good first story or you just see. Um, and yeah, I really hope you guys like this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, peace out.